When you uh, create an AGI system, you'll be one of the few people in the room that get to interact with it first, assuming GPT-4 is not that. Uh, what question would you ask her, him, it? What discussion would you have? You know, one of the things that I have realized, like this is a little aside and not that important, but I have never felt any pronoun other than it towards any of our systems. But most other people say him or her or something like that. And I wonder why I am so different. Like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's I watch it develop. Maybe it's I think more about it. But I'm curious where that difference comes from. I think probably you could because you watch it develop. But then again, I watch a lot of stuff develop and I always go to him and her. I anthropomorphize uh, aggressively. Um and certainly most humans do. I think it's really important that we try to explain, to educate people that this is a tool and not a creature. I think I, yes, but I also think there will be a room in society for creatures and we should draw hard lines between those. If something's a creature, I'm happy for people to like think of it and talk about it as a creature, but I think it is dangerous to project creatureness onto a tool. That's one perspective. A perspective I would take, if it's done transparently, is projecting creatureness onto a tool makes that tool more usable if it's done well. Yeah, so if there's if there's like kind of UI affordances that work, I understand that. I still think we want to be like pretty careful, careful with it. Because the more creature-like it is, the more it can manipula manipulate you emotionally. Or just the more you th think that it's doing something or should be able to do something or rely on it for something that it's not capable of. What if it is capable? What about Sam Altman? What if it's capable of love? Do you think there will be romantic relationships like in the movie Her with GPT? There are companies now that offer, like for back, lack of a better word, like romantic companionship mm -hmm. AIs. Replica is an example of such a company. Yeah. I personally don't feel any interest in that. So you're focusing on creating intelligent But I understand tools. why other people do. That's interesting. I'm, I have, for some reason, I'm very drawn to that. Have you spent a lot of time interacting with Replica or anything similar? Replica, but also just building stuff myself. Like I have robot dogs now that I uh, use... Um, I use the the movement of the 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 robots to communicate emotion. I've been exploring how to do that. Look, there are going to be very interactive GPT four powered pets or whatever robots companions, and a lot of people seem really excited about that. Yeah, there's there's a lot of interesting possibilities. I think you you'll discover them. I think as you go along, that's the whole point. Like the things you say in this conversation, you might in a year say this was right. This no, was I may wrong. totally want. I may turn out that I like love my GPT four. Maybe you dog want your robot or whatever. <laughs> Maybe you want your programming assistant to be a little kinder and not mock you. <laughs> I think you're incompetent. No, I think you do want. Um, the style of the way GPT-4 talks to you yes. really matters. You probably want something different than what I want, but we both probably want something different than the current GPT-4. And that will be really important, even for a very tool-like thing. Is there styles of conversation, oh no, contents of conversations you're looking forward to with an AGI, like GPT-5, 6, 7? Is there stuff where, like where do you go to outside? outside of the fun meme stuff for actual like, I mean, what I'm excited for is like, please explain to me how all of physics works physics. and solve all remaining mysteries. So like a theory of everything. I'll so be real happy. Faster than light travel. Don't you want to know? So there's several things to know. It's like N NP hard. Uh, is it possible and how to do it? Um, yeah, I want to know. I want to know. Uh, probably the first question would be, are there in other intelligent alien civilizations out there? But I don't think AGI has the no uh, the ability to do that, to, to, to know that. Might be able to help us figure out how to go detect. 
and meaning to like send some emails to humans and say, can you run these experiments? Can you build the space probe? Can you wait, you know, a very long time? Or provide a much better estimate than the Drake equation. Yeah. Uh, with with the knowledge we already have and maybe process all the, because we've been collecting a lot of Yeah, a lot you know, of maybe it's in the data. Maybe we need to build better detectors, which the an a, a really advanced AI could tell us how to do. It may not be able to answer it on its own, but it may be able to tell us what to go build to collect more data. What if it says the aliens are already here? I think I would just go about my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I we, mean, a version of that is like, yeah. what are you doing differently now that like, if, if GPT-4 told you and you believed it, okay, AGI is here, or AGI is coming real soon, what are you gonna do differently? The source of joy and happiness and fulfillment in life is from other humans. So it's, it's mostly nothing. Right. Unless it causes some kind of threat, and, but that threat would have to be like literally a fire. Like, are, are we are we living now with a greater degree of digital intelligence than you would have expected three years ago yeah, much, in the world? Much more, yeah. And if you could go back and be told by an oracle three years ago, which is you know blink of an eye, that in March of 2023 you will be living with this degree of digital intelligence, would you expect your life to be more different than it is right now? Probably, probably, but there's also a lot of different trajectories intermixed. I would have expected the um, society's response to a pandemic uh, to be much better, much clearer, less divided. I was very confused about, there's there's a lot of stuff, given the amazing technological advancements yeah. that are happening, the weird social divisions. It's almost like the more technological advancement there is, the more we're going to be having fun with social division. Or maybe the technological advancement just revealed the division that was already there. But all of that just make, that confuses my understanding of how far along we are as a human civilization and what brings us meaning and what how we discover truth together and knowledge and wisdom. So I don't, I don't know. But when I look, I, when I op open Wikipedia, I'm happy. The humans are able to create this thing. For sure. Yes, there is bias. Yes, but it's incredible. It's a triumph. It's a triumph of human civilization. Hundred uh, percent. Google search, the search, search period is incredible. The way it was able to do, you know, twenty years ago, and and now this, this is this new thing, GPT. Is like, is this like going to be the next, like the conglomeration of all of that that made uh, web search and. Wikipedia is so magical, but now more directly accessible. You can have a conversation with a damn thing. It's incredible.